Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics License and today I have prepared two true false questions for you and the first question is a missense. Mutation cannot revert a frame shift mutation. Is it true or false? Take a look. So imagine that this is template strand of the DNA and the sequence is follows A, T, C, G, G, T, A, 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 C, G, 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 C, A. Here is only just one strand of the double strand of DNA, template strand of the DNA, and complementary to this template strand of the DNA, another messenger RNA strand would be made. And mutations to template strand of the DNA means mutations in the complementary messenger RNA, which can result in mutations of the polypeptide chain. Every three nucleotides here specify certain codon and certain codon specify certain amino acid. For example, what cause frame shift mutation? Imagine that we delete just one nucleotide. Let's it be this nucleotide here. And now the whole sequence would be read in different frame. The first codon would be as follows, second, as follows, sort, and fourth as follows. As you see, the sequence this time is completely different if we compare with the first sequence. So this would result in completely different polypeptide and completely different protein. Usually such frame shift mutations also called nonsense mutations because as you know, 64 codons specify all the amino acids and three of them specify stop codons. And normal sequence of the protein contains thousands of codons. So stop codon doesn't happen for thousands of such codon positions. But if we have such mutation, now we are going to get completely different sequence and we expect that three out of 64 or one out of 20 is going to be a stop codon. So this type of mutation leads to short version of the protein, which probably can be non-functional. So non-sense. We also can get such frame shift mutation if we delete two or more nucleotides or add extra nucleotide. Now what is the missense mutation and missense mutagen. Let's now imagine that instead of deletion of this nucleotide, uh, we replace it with different nucleotide, for example, with guanine, cytosine with guanine. And as you see, in this case, the frame is going to be the same and uh, would specify the same amino acids. And only this uh, codon can specify different amino acid. Usually if mutation happens in the third position, this codon would still specify the same amino acid. But if in the second position or first position, this is definitely is going to be different amino acid. So we call this missense mutation. Sometimes such mutations change function of the protein, but in many cases, such mutations doesn't change function of the protein because this is just a change of one amino acid out of maybe thousands of amino acids. So if such point mutation, we also call such mutations as point mutation, is not going to happen in active site of the protein, usually it doesn't change the function of the protein and can be unnoticed or tolerated by our organism if it doesn't change uh, for example, fitness of the organism. In some rare cases, such mutations even can be beneficial. So now we can choose the correct statement. Missense mutagen is going to just change some uh, nucleotides, but wouldn't be able to delete some nucleotides or insert nucleotides, which would cause frame shift mutation or would reverse frame shift mutation. In order to reverse frame shift mutation, such mutagen 
have to have a property of being able insert nucleotides or delete nucleotides. So the correct answer is going to be mesense mutagen cannot revert frame shift mutation. This is true. Answer A. And next statement mutations can occur in chloroplast and mitochondria. Is it true or false? Take a look at this picture and you would see that uh, we can find DNA in three places, for example, in plant cell, in nucleus, in chloroplast, and also in mitochondria. All of them have their own DNA in nucleus. It is linear DNA in the form of chromosomes, and in mitochondria and chloroplast are circular DNA, just like in bacteria. And because these organelles contain DNA and DNA can mutate, the answer to this question is going to be mutations can occur in the chloroplast and mitochondria. Yes, this is true. Mutations can occur in all organelles that contain DNA. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.